if a person dies, how do we react? So the first obligation upon us with regards to the deceased is that we have to prepare his burial and his shrouding and his transport to the graveyard. However, the cost of this has to be moderate according to your setting which you are in. So neither do we go to the extreme of being extravagant and neither should we be stingy. So for example, if there is uh, the, the average price or the average cost of preparing for the burial is 100 pounds and then there's another company which is offering a more extravagant service for a thousand pounds and the body is going to be carried or transported in a Cadillac or a Ford, this is not permitted. So after we have paid off the costs for the burial and the funeral procession for the deceased, then the next step is that we have to pay off the debts of the deceased. Min malihi. We're talking now about the inheritance or the wealth which the deceased person has left behind. What do we have to do? From his wealth, the first thing which has to pay, be paid off are the funeral costs. The second thing that has to be paid off from his money or his wealth are the debts which he owes to people. And also, some of the debts which he obligated upon himself, which were a kafara or an expiation which he owed. These have to also be paid from his wealth. And then after this, if the deceased had left behind a wasiyah, a bequest, then that bequest has to be executed and that, that wealth has to be deducted from his inheritance. However, the deceased person cannot leave behind a wasiyah, a bequest, except that it has to be a third or less than a third. Meaning, he is not allowed to bequest a th more than a third of his wealth. It can only be a third or less than a third. And secondly, he is not allowed to leave behind a wasiyah for an heir who inherits from his wealth.